Hello my friends, and welcome to the channel's first Sunday Drive. My name is Matic, also known as Mikey, and we're playing American Truck Simulator. Right now we're just outside of Yuma, and we're here to pick up a load of plows that we're taking down to Nogales in Arizona. Just gotta, there's my trailer. Ooh, horse! There's some horses over there. Uh, so I am playing with a Logitech G29 steering wheel. And I do still have it on automatic. Yes, excuse me for that. But it's so much fun actually playing this with an actual steering wheel. I'm just trying to back up here to the trailer. way off. So let's put that on for drive. Go up and get another run at this. I can re I can reverse. Of course I love this truck. Especially the steering wheel. I mean look at that steering wheel. That is nice. Rearview mirrors. Yeah, I do have it set up. The ultra wide monitor is really nice for this because it can easily see the left uh, mirror without having to turn my head in game, which is a huge pain. Okay, and which button did I set for the trailer? I there we go. I had to think for a second which button I had originally set for it. Okay, back in a drive. And we're off. So basically what we're doing here on these Sunday drives is we're just going to go for a drive, have a conversation, have a little fun. <laughs> and that uh, water tower in the mirror there is... Uh, so enticing. Oh, there's another water tower out there in front. <laughs> Honestly, this is actually probably one of my most favorite games as of late. It'll be even more fun once they actually finally add Utah. Uh, if you don't know, I actually live in Utah. Born and raised. And it'll, just, it'll just be nice to actually be able to use Utah in this game. Just to see how relatively accurate it is. Forcefully merge into the traffic there. Get on to speed. Okay, we got 237 miles to go. No music, just talking. Dang copyright laws. <laughs> We are heading eastward. So, eastbound and down, loaded up and trucking. <laughs> oh man, it's interesting. Actually, I, I really like this game, especially uh, all the little uh, jokes to a uh, modern. Uh, actual life, like uh, 
My personal favorite is the spoof of Walmart. Uh, Walbert. It's freaking hilarious. <laughs> Honestly, this game is just so relaxing to just sit here and drive and not have to really worry about anything. Fast landscape. Traffic slowing down a bit. Looks like uh, they're behind another semi truck up there that's going slow. Wrong button. Wrong button again. What's the button I set it on? There we go. Hey, just a just a couple clouds. Nothing really special. Nothing too heavy either. Just have lights on. It's starting to become night. So I don't know what it is. Somehow I always end up driving at night in this game. No matter what, something always happens and I'm always driving at night. Available land. Why are my high beams on? Come on, traffic. Urgent. No, no, no. Okay, there we go. Just get to the point where he slows down and then just move over. <laughs> Don't actually do that in real life. This is a video game. And of course, by the time I finally move over, the other semi truck and bus speed up. Every oh, and I have to move back over because my exit's up here. Brilliant. Okay, a little aggressive merging again. There he stopped. Y you gotta mess with the AI because this game. There's no merge lanes on on ramps. And honestly, it's just I don't know what some of them are thinking. How about you not break on the freeway? There's an idea. I did choose a relatively short route. I mean, I've done runs in one city where I'm like all the way from one end of California to the other, You're running north and south. Tucson. And there's a water tower on the left screen. And that's fine. So yeah, I think this game kind of speaks to me a little emotionally though because uh, my dad used to be a trucker and uh, we grew up listening to trucking songs and uh, playing with toy big rigs and 
got tons of Lego 18 wheelers and Hot Wheel 18 wheelers and all these toy semi trucks. It's just kind of nice to still be able to play with semi trucks just like I was when I was a kid. And it's just, I grew up around this kind of stuff, and so that's probably part of the reason why this is one of my favorite games. Gallus. What Gallus discovered? On the brakes. Let's see how good I can do at parking this thing. Another water tower! I did not want to put on the brakes that hard. relatively easy-ish because I got that open space there I can straighten up if I need to. Okay. Let's see if we can get this in here without damaging the jet. Nope. Oh, of course. I should have turned wider. Oops. There is a UPS truck behind me it looks like. Or just a nice semi truck. Ah, just force it. Just force it. Yeah, just a nice semi truck. Yeah, this actually gives me a lot of room. about this though is with the steering wheel the in-game steering wheel and my steering wheel in my hands is actually one for one it's like exactly where it is whereas before when I was using a gamepad it was such a pain to do this because the joystick the thumbstick on it was just annoying although hilariously enough I uh, was using uh, my flight stick for a little bit on it on this game which was tons of fun and also just freaking hilarious. Curve the trailer back the other direction. try and do this all in first person without having to go into third person. I do not want to skip the parking. Shut up. And I'm going to need to readjust. Oh, let's go to the trailer in there. 
Ha! Perfect! Ish. And drop the trailer. Decoupling. Lowering trailer legs. Woo! Excellent! And no penalties, luckily enough. Especially with that. I, I thought there was going to be some uh, cargo damage penalties on that. With that turn, but... I guess not. Well... Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys later.